Hello everybody, I thought it was time I showed you my new seven foot tank. It's about two months old at this point, so I've got a few corals in that were in my previous five foot tank. We're going to start off with um, a tang fight, which is unusual because these two are about the most peaceful tangs in the tank. It's been broken up by the gem tang who is usually at war with the uh, bristle tooth. But generally all the fish are nice and settled and happy. They love having lots of space to swim up and down. It's um, a tank was made by Fit Filtration of Sheffield, who do a magnificent job of uh, their tanks. Uh, the overflow weir is silent as long as you set it properly. I'm running on the Zeovit system, the same as my four foot tank. It seems to go quite well, easy to do, as long as you've got the time to um, add the drops every day to feed the corals and the bacteria in the Zeovit reactor. Here's the frog spawns, one of my favourites. A little torch above that. The rabbit fish wants to be uh, on telly. Showing us that he's. Oh, can you see that old Blenny in the rocks? Sticking his head out. And this toadstool, which uh, my jewel Benny likes to wallow in there. I think he gets a, a massage from the polyps. But if I try and take a photo of him, he, he disappears. My blastos are having a blast. Here's um, an acan that can't decide whether it likes it there or not. I might move him. This one's having a good day, as it usually does. This one's having a good old sulk. I usually find the uh, Zeovit LPS food brings that out. Another blasto. Some Duncans. This aquapora just sits there doing that, but I'm being patient, waiting to see what it does with itself. My clam is doing okay. Trumpets had a nice bit of green colour. This Montipora I had as a frag about the size of my little fingernail about a year ago, so that's really doing well. As is this purple one. Dipping my toe in Acroporas again. See how I get on. They can be difficult to keep. These are Stylophores, I think these little green ones, really uh, electric green. Uh, Trachyphilia, and another one. Straggly Montipora, I've tried it in bright light, it doesn't seem to like it so much. Some green star polyps. And this cocoa worm, I think they're called. It came in the green star polyps, but it moved. And famously, sticking his head out of his cave is Ted. He is a shrimp goby, and he's got a pistol shrimp who lives in the cave. Looks like he's uh, muttering something under his breath there. <laughs> Doesn't want to be filmed today. That's my cleaner ass whizzed by then. 
He's my oldest fish. I think I must have had him about seven or eight years. He cost me nine pounds. It's lit with three Radeon lights, LED lights, the XR30. Probably could do with another one. Thank you for watching, please comment and subscribe. See you next time.